the glow of the screen we gather round From every corner our minds unbound What's up everyone? Today we're going to dive deep into the world of hyperbole and I promise you it's going to be an absolute game changer for your writing and communication skills. So let's get started shall we? Now first things first, what exactly is hyperbole? Hyperbole my friends is the use of exaggerated language to create a strong effect or emphasis. It's not about stating the facts but rather it's about amping things up to the max to really drive the point home. Think about it this way, if I were to say, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse, that would be a classic example of hyperbole. I'm not actually going to consume an entire horse, but by using this exaggerated language, I'm conveying just how ravenous I am. See what I mean? Okay, let's dive into some more examples to really solidify your understanding. How about this one? I'm so tired I could sleep for a thousand years. Now come on, let's be real. No one can actually sleep for a millennium, but by using this over-the-top expression, the speaker is emphasising just how exhausted they are. It's a way to add a little extra oomph to your words, you know? And here's one more for you. My backpack weighs a ton. Again, unless your backpack is filled with actual tons of bricks, this is an exaggeration. But it's a clever way to communicate the idea that your backpack is incredibly heavy and burdensome. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Miss, this all sounds great, but how do I actually use hyperbole in my own writing and speech? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Here are 10 questions to help you master the art of hyperbole. One, True or false, hyperbole is all about stating the facts in the most accurate way possible. Two, if I say I'm so hungry I could eat an entire buffet, what kind of literary device am I using? Three, explain why the statement I've been waiting in this line for an eternity is an example of hyperbole. Four, how does using hyperbole help writers and speakers convey their emotions and feelings more effectively? Five, can you come up with a hyperbolic statement about how amazing your favourite food is? 6. Imagine you're running late for an important event. Write a hyperbolic sentence that describes your sense of urgency. 7. True or false? Hyperbole is always used to exaggerate negative emotions or experiences. 8. If I say, my room is literally the size of a palace, what is the purpose of using the word literally in this context? 9. Explain how hyperbole can be used to add humour and playfulness to your writing and speech. 10. Can you think of a real-life situation where using hyperbole might not be the most appropriate or effective way to communicate? All right, my student, there you have it. Everything you need to know about the wonderful world of hyperbole. Remember, it's all about taking things to the next level, adding that extra bit of oomph and really driving your point home. So go forth and hyperbole your way to writing and communication greatness.